During the 2008 campaign, the mainstream media wouldn't let up. Remember that over John McCain's age and his health. Take a listen. Is McCain simply too old to get elected? If it's John McCain's health we're talking about, and he's running for the highest office in the land, his health, with limits, becomes the public business. How concerned are doctors that this skin cancer may, in fact, return? All right, but it seems there's a double standard for the Democrats. This photo causing some controversy this week of Hillary Clinton being helped up those stairs. Look at that at a campaign stop in South Carolina in February. Should we know more about her health history? Here to discuss this is Dr. Mark Siegel of the Fox Medical A team and neurologist Dr. Fiona Gupta. Thank you both for being with Great us. To see you. Great to see you too. So how important is is it for us to see the presidential candidate's health records. Well, I think it's very important. And Ainsley, in 2008, we put the bar at a different level because of John McCain. I looked at his records and I said, this is ridiculous. But after I looked at them, I said, okay, let's be consistent now. Let's do this for all candidates, especially if they're elderly. The same point that was just made in the setup. Well, guess what? Donald Trump is 70 and Hillary Clinton is almost 69. I want to see both their full records. Let's be fair. And Hillary in 2012, you know, had a huge concussion. She sustained, she was found to have a blood clot on the outside of her brain. I've been asking since 2012 to see her neurological records. You know, uh, her internist revealed a statement that after her concussion, she recovered. She had an MRI. Everything was fine. Her follow-up tests were okay. But no neurologist has ever come forward, and we've never seen her records. I want to see her full records. That's why we brought you on, Dr. Gupta, so you can tell us from a neurological perspective how the concussions and things like that affected her. But first, let's show the audience what we know uh, as far as her medical records are concerned concerned the timeline and to be fair we don't have Donald Re Donald Trump's because he hasn't held a public office but let's start with Hillary in 1998 she reportedly had a blood clot in her leg in 2005 stomach virus and faints before a speech 2009 fractures her elbow in a fall while she's walking to the White House 2011 falls boarding an airplane in Yemen 2012 she faints hits her head suffers a concussion has to wear glasses for double vision 2012 diagnosed with a blood clot following her fall and then in 2016 photo Photographed as you saw being helped up those stairs in South Carolina. Right. So, from a neurological perspective, a lot of this has to do with her brain, with her mind, the concussions. Should what should we be concerned about? Right. Exactly. Well, neurologically speaking, again, as Dr. Siegel mentioned, for both candidates, medical history, neurological history has to be transparent. This is a long and rigorous campaign. Secretary Clinton had said history of unexplained falls, a fall leading to post-concussive syndrome, which was documented, and then a cerebral venous thrombosis uh, that was discovered post-fall. So I think follow-up is important, but again, not to just speculate, that would be, you know, kind of irresponsible or un unethical, but to really get a good history How and follow-up the exam. Faintings? The concussions, the faintings? That just is not normal for most people. I mean, falls can be because of a myriad of issues. I mean, in her case, there was reports of dehydration, uh, gastrointestinal illnesses, and, you know, lots of travel. So, you know, the stress of that could cause some of this, too. Dr. Siegel? She's also on blood thinners. So I would put those two together and say whatever the causes of the falls, we have to be extra careful for every, anyone that's on lifetime blood thinners. She's on them because she's had repetitive clots, one in her leg, then one on the outside of the brain. So she's obviously being watched for that, even though she's never been found to have a, a coagulation or clotting disorder. But her father died of a stroke at a young age. Mm -hmm. You know, could there be a family history of that? This would make you want to watch her more carefully and, again, see the full records. I want to see what a neurologist like Dr. Gupta actually said in writing about her. Right. I'm sure she's fit, but this is what the public has a right John to John McCain released pages and pages. Thousands. Both of them, their doctors have released one page each. And her doctor in 2015 said she had been treated for concussion blood clots an underactive thyroid gland. Donald Trump's doctor released a letter saying his health was extraordinary. <laughs> That's all we know. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Dr. Siegel. Yeah. Great to see you, too.